Hi everyone, my name is Marcus and you're watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. As you might know, I'm a bit of a gear junkie and a nerd. I'm more than prepared to put in a fair bit of effort one time in order to not have to do anything uh, moving forward. Uh, well, today we're going to take a close look at the Reef Anabolics Trace Elements support system and how you can get expert results without requiring expert effort. Trace elements are now pretty well established in the hobby as a beneficial component to our tanks, particularly for mature tanks or moderately well stocked ones. If you have a new tank or not a huge amount of coral, water changes should be sufficient to maintain your trace element levels for now. The impact of trace element dosing is often noticed in the coloration and vibrance of the colors of our coral. Tanks that are stripped of trace elements often have a dull or washed out colouring as much of the usage for trace elements is in the coral chroma proteins which are what give them their fantastic colours. They also play a part of the coral nutrition, growth and metabolism. Adding trace elements does not need to be hard. You don't need to test for 45 different elements, nor do you really even need to know what each element does specifically. A lot of that hard work has been done for you and dosing regimes err on the side of caution and often tie the dosage of these trace elements directly to the consumption of alkalinity and calcium. So you should always be getting the proportional doses of each trace element according to how much your tank will consume. The Reef Anabolics Trace Support System has been designed specifically to be so easy and affordable that really there's no reason you shouldn't be doing it if your tank is mature and you aren't already dosing trace in some way. A set of the Reef Anabolics Trace Element Support System comes as four empty bottles. This isn't some conspiracy like chip packets filled with air or anything like that. What is in each bottle is a very small uh, amount at the bottom of super, super concentrated trace element. The reason why the bottles are so large is so that you can use them directly for your dosing and mixing. You simply fill each bottle with RO water and shake it. It couldn't be easier. If you dose two part, you add 13 mil of reef halogen liquid to one liter of your alkalinity mixture. You add also 13 mil of each Reef Growth and Reef Metals Pro to your calcium mixture. The Reef Anabolics model assumes that you're using Randy's Recipe 1, but there are also instructions for Recipe 2, and it's really easy to convert the dosage to many other two-part additives on the market that have differing strengths to Randy's. The fourth bottle is Boron. It can't be mixed with anything else and does need to be put on its own separate doser. It also needs to be mixed with more water. So that's two liters of water for the one liter size bottles or one liter of water for the 500 ml size bottles like I have here. What I did was mix, it in the, mix in the appropriate amount of water, pour half back into this bottle, the original bottle, and then half into a Voss bottle, which is what I'm using to dose my tank. The dosage for boron is one mil per 100 liters for a heavily stocked system or half that for a moderately stocked system. It may seem annoying that boron is dealt with slightly differently to the rest. However, it's just the reality of the element. It's important, however, as boron dosing has a large impact on red and orange coloration and it's used to help precipitate the construction of coral skeletons. SBS junkies swear by it, so it's well worth the effort. It's also great that Reef Anabolics includes it in their system at all, as many trace element programs do not and require you to buy a separate bottle uh, as an extra add-on that needs to be dosed manually via a dropper bottle. So if you have a pretty standard four channel dosing pump, you will likely already have a head spare, given that you're probably doing alkalinity, calcium and magnesium. What you'll do to incorporate the Reef Anabolics Trace System is mix halogen with your alkalinity, growth and booster with your calcium, leave magnesium where it is, and then use the fourth head for boron. If you use a calcium reactor, there's a simple calculation to dose the, the Reef Anabolics Trace program. Based on a 1000 litre tank at half a DKH consumption a day, you would dose two mil straight from these bottles. A full set of the RA Trace is super affordable, coming in at roughly $150 for the set. This set of the 500 mil bottles will last my tank, which is heavily stocked and growing rapidly, well over a year. The RA Trace lineup covers every trace element except potassium. However, they have just released potassium as part of their macro element lineup and range. It will require a fifth dosing head though in order to automate. Alternatively, there are manual dropper bottle style products for potassium on the market from Coral Essentials, Aquaforest and others. It's up to you. However, if you've come this far in your automation journey, 
I would invest in an extra dosing pump. I've covered some single channel cheap dosing pumps in a previous video, you can click that here to watch it. I asked Reef Anabolics why they treat potassium as a macro element and don't include it in their trace element range. Their reasoning is that they have found that potassium uptake can vary so wildly in seemingly similar mature SPS tanks that they found that attaching it to a fixed ratio with regard to the other elements could be dangerous on one side or lead to depletion on the other. So for best results, they advise to dose potassium and test potassium on its own. So there you have it. For anyone dosing simple two-part mixtures of alkalinity and calcium, as long as you have a four-channel dosing pump on your system, you can very affordably and very easily make an expert level, fully loaded trace element dosing solution. Add a fifth pump for potassium and you'll really be cooking. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember to like and subscribe for more content. My name is Marcus, bye for now.